Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Green Life Garden and Home DIY channel. So today I wanted to drop right in and just kind of tell you about a way of um, heating, uh, heating your home or wherever you're at. If you are living anywhere in the U.S. right now, you are aware that we are having some serious issues with weather and things going on and, you know, and power outages and uh, things like that. So, um, I just wanted to quickly show you something um, that you could do to heat your home. Um, and it's called using your um, terracotta clay flower pots. I just grabbed this one right up from outside so I could quickly show you what to do. Um, listen, this isn't something I'm just showing you because I've seen somebody else do it i have lived by a candle with no power i have lived with no running water and i'm talking i was living <laughs> off the grid and didn't realize i was living off the grid okay so i know what it's like when you don't have all the necessities and uh, the, the the conveniences i guess you would say because i did have things to keep me warm kerosene heaters little propane uh, heaters and different things like that that I was using. But back to the whole point of this video, uh, what I've did right here is I've taken and uh, I've melted down some Crisco and I poured that Crisco over into this mason jar. And uh, the reason I put it in this mason jar is because I could actually put a lid on it and uh, keep it from going rancid and just be able to keep it for a longer period of time. So you wouldn't have to worry about it spilling um, either. Now, if you did not know, this little candle here on Crisco, uh, back in the day, Crisco originally, it did not start out, this particular shorten, shortening did not start out as being something to cook with. It was actually used um, for candles and soap making. So, um, you know, if you go and do your research, that's what this shortening was all about, okay? And so, um, and you can see, you can see that flame right there. There's some history um, behind it there. I could really kind of go into pre-World War, World War One. Um, you know, they got together and decided they would, it would be more lucrative if they were able to um, really turn this into a household item um, that they could they could make money on, I mean, <laughs> like anything else. So, all right, back to our situation here. You're gonna take a candle of some sort. This is bringing you a little bit closer. You're gonna take it and you're gonna just put it down in here. Now you can find a candle with a bigger wick on it and uh, you don't have to have that much of a wick. And uh, we're gonna light it. Okay, so our candle is lit. As you can see, it's burning. It's burning clean. You don't see any soot. You don't see any smoke. And the whole idea of this is to place your terracotta pot over the top of your candle. And you're going to have it on a stand of some sort where you actually be able to put that up under there. And like I said, that is just a candle left over from a birthday party of some sort. You put whatever size candle you want in there. All right. And then I have a bottom piece here that, uh, or you could put a penny over the top, or you could put something like this to keep the heat from escaping out of that hole. And this pot is going to heat up. All right. And once this pot heats up, it's actually going to put off enough heat to depending on how big of a, a, a candle you have burning and how big of a pot you have, clay pot you have on there it could heat up uh, a whole room okay so you know anytime you're doing things like this do make sure that you are being safe that you are um, keeping an eye on everything about it children pets everything you know so but this is a way to actually heat a room that you all could gather up in and uh stay in stay the night or you know, heat a bathroom so you're not in there cold trying to bathe or do whatever it is that you're doing, 
So um, this is it. Uh, a terracotta flower pot used for heating. See, gardening, gardening has so many different <laughs> uh, facets to it. All right, so I'm going to move this out of our way right quick. Uh, actually, I I'll leave it there. All right. So just wanted to show you some other candles that you could use. Um, this candle would work great because it would fit right up under there. You always want something, though, that's going to be able to uh, raise this clay pot up enough that it's not sitting directly on top of whatever it is that you're using. Um, this is um, wicks that are used for, um, I forgot what, what it was. I bought these to keep on hand for something, but these are wicks, okay? They're, they're fairly big, and you can actually, you know, use those. I think they're for torch lights. But you could actually stick a wick or a big candle right down in here. It's, it's made for that. It's made for heat, okay? This will burn for hours. I mean, literally days, okay? And, of course, you're not going to need it in the daytime anyway. So, if you need it to light a room um, and, and you don't have any candles in the house, go check your cabinets. See if you can find Crisco or, or the equivalent. <laughs> All right, so... This, I thought, was the, the best little thing I could have ever found at a thrift store. And, um, whoops, if you don't know what this color code on here, uh, uh, what store it came from, <laughs> then you, uh, you probably don't live in America. But anyway, this has seven candles in it. It tells you on top they're emergency candles. They are um, used for the car, tent home um and they smell really good they're easy to access and use and it even has a little place in here for you to put a candle and i'm showing you this because i want you to see that you need to be paying attention when you're in these thrift stores for stuff like this and it sits right down in there and you like that and there's your candle if you want to set it up a little bit higher you set it right there on top and you you've got you know seven good candles there that you could use even for something such as this, which is, I would probably use a bigger candle for a situation like this. But I want you to see if you just cannot, uh, you know, get your hands on a bigger candle, a birthday candle. I mean, you do what you got to do in, a, in an emergency. I think people tend to overthink things unless they're actually in that situation and having to do what they got to do. Some people are using them with tea candles. And again, the best, uh, now when they use tea candles, they're using like four to put up under there to actually uh, be able to get this thing hot enough. I already feel it getting uh, warm to the touch. And again, I'm taking this little piece off up here. You don't see any smoke coming out. You don't see any soot. You see the candle is still lit. You see that's, that's Crisco oil in there and it's burning clean. So again, that is originally what that was used for. And you know, we we took it and started cooking with it. So anyway, um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and um, end this video. I hope that everybody is safe. I hope that you are warm. I hope that you are dry and well. And um, we just have to get creative in times like these. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. This too shall pass. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Peace, love, blessings, much light to you all. One love.